Hey, hello, hello everyone. Welcome to this uh, live stream where I will be showcasing uh, one of the upcoming features um, for PenPod. So the, uh, the idea that we have for PenPod is that it should be easier to uh, enjoy the onboarding process. And uh, so the onboarding process is, you know, you sign up uh, either as through an invitation or just you, you did that, you found out about PenPod and, and you went there and how much help you need or you would like to have so that that process is actually quite smooth. And so we've come up with three ideas, three ingredients to that onboarding process. We call that onboarding process 1.0. And today we're going to show you one of the three ingredients that we have. So we want you to have an interactive in-app uh, experience so that the tool itself explains itself. So it's amazing how much PenPod itself through its own features can tell you about PenPod and how to use PenPod and where things are and how to start working and all that. So that is, that will be using PenPod's amazing interactive prototype features. So that's very cool. That's ingredient number one. Ingredient number two of the voting process is going to be uh, do, you know, you remember those templates and libraries section that we have where people can contribute, uh, by the way, amazing communities that we have that, you know, keep, keeps um, sharing uh, UI, UI toolkits, icons, you know, icon collections, design prototypes, all that stuff. And um, so we have that as a separate landing page. You go there, you browse, you pick one, you start, you, you, you download it and you re-import it and there you are, you know, you can, you can uh, kickstart your uh, you new design and it should be there for you within the penpots ui so we're going to put that really in front of you so it's a one click away and the third ingredient which is what we're going to do today i'm going to try my best to um to show you how this works is the um the just a game <laughs> it's a, a tutorial that it's a game and that's what we call the uh, the bottle design challenge so the um, the idea behind this is that through, through a game, through a tutorial that is teaching you the basics of PenPod, uh, you get some results. The outcome probably is not that relevant. Um, I'll try my best to make that relevant, but it's the process uh, that matters. So uh, without further ado, actually, I'm going to uh, share my screen and uh, I'm going to uh, show you how, how is, this is done, right? This is an exclusive sneak peek because this is actually not available on our production release. So um, this, is, this is just for you to, to enjoy before we, uh, we go on and release that um, uh, for the public. So you cannot see, I've just shared my screen here, sorry, sorry my window. And uh, what I'm going to do first of all is I have this file, which is a penpot file, which encapsulates uh, both the JSON and the assets. And I'm going to just drag and drop. You're going to, you're not going to see how I'm drag and dropping this, but I'm going to drag and drop uh, so I can import this file, right? Right. Now remember, ingredient number two should probably allow me to do this within Pembots UI. But for now, I'm just going to re-import this. So drag and drop. Uh, let me just yeah here. Drag and drop. I hope you can see uh, the uh, dialog because you know, sometimes sharing screen doesn't show. Um, it's importing all the files, you know, tutorial for beginners, uploading, uploading data to server. Okay, so I have a green tick, so this is, this is great. And here I am, I have my tutorial for beginners. Let me just drink some, some water here. <clears throat> By the way, thank you very much to Esther La Torre she designed this uh, fun game, um, and I think she did a great, great job. And uh, probably she's not going to be very proud of what I'm going to do now, uh, because I myself, I'm not a designer. <laughs> I do know Pempot, but I'm not a designer, so I might um, uh, end up with something uh, totally not worth it. So you go there, you enter this uh, design. This is a Pempot design. And we have several pages here, right? So we have this design your own bottle and we have this, I guess this is the target result. And we have level zero, the basics, level one, graphic, de uh, graphic design tutorial, draw a bottle. Okay, that should be easy. So I guess I'm going to click here, level zero. Okay. 
So I'm, I'm greeted with this level zero, learn the basics to move around PEMPOT. Um, I know a bit of the basics already, so probably I'm, I'm like senior now. I can do level zero uh, easy, right? But, but yeah, so for those of you that don't know about PEMPOT, this, I, I'll, I'll go through this anyway. So navigate the viewport, uh, press the space, and left click. Okay, so I'm doing this. You cannot see me, but I'm doing this. I also use a uh, middle button and the mouse. Um, I'm using a Linux box. I don't have a, um, a tablet or anything like that. Okay, so I now know how to navigate. So zoom. Okay, so yeah, the um, the wheel. Great. Um, I can also use this zoom here. So zoom to fit all. Uh, or I don't know, whatever. Zoom to select it. Yeah. Um, pinch. I'm not going to use that. Okay. So I now know how to move around and zoom out, zoom in. Layers panel. This is the layers panel. So it's telling me that at the layers panel, you can see the layers of the page, drag them to arrange them to different positions. So I think this is a common abstraction. I mean, I think it's it's well known abstraction, right? Uh, to have layers and order matters. So there's there's sort of a stack abstraction here. So I'm going to so navigate the pupil. I'm going to do just some little experiments. I'm going to find like something like yeah that one. You see that I just selected that. So that's a layer. And since uh, Esther is inviting me to uh, move it to drag and drop it, I'm going to just perhaps do this. And now it's beneath another one, another layer. So uh, Control Z, and that's undone. That's fine. This is my own version of the the tutorial, so I'm not, you know, I won't be bothering anyone with my changes. But still, um, and do is fine to do that. All right. What else? Um, shape resizing. Okay. You know, rotation, uh, resize, scaling up, scaling down. Okay. This is familiar. Stair is also telling me that I can use the uh, right pane to do that. Just enter and inputting, you know, some numbers here. And um, also the menu, this menu here, where I have uh, some general actions. So like view height rules, height grids, show color palette, all that stuff. So, okay, so show color palette. Okay, I have an empty color palette here. So no use hide color palette okay wonderful level zero i mastered this i i i i i need a trophy here um level one okay this is this is different this is this is more complex again more water you have to hydrate yourself before doing this okay so i start here i know how to zoom so i can do that I know how to paint. I really love, you know, this uh, pempet, <laughs> like ready for the for the challenge. So, well, I guess, um, I mean, the challenge here is draw your bottle here. And this is, uh, your final design will look like this, right? Will look like this. Or not, Esther, or not. We'll see what happens, okay? But I get the idea. So I'm going to start uh, by following orders and rectangle okay we're going to draw the design structure of the bottle so go ahead two, two rectangles uh more about shortcuts at the bottom left corner ah that's that's cool so shortcuts are important so if i go here i can actually actually i could just do zoom zoom will tell me everything about any any shortcut that is a lot it's around zoom right zooming so actually zoom out zooming uh zoom to fit all shift one so that means if i do this shift one oh sorry about i'm using this okay anyway rectangle that's what rectangle is r okay fine thank you back to uh this rectangle is also here but i'm going to do and click r so Esther is asking me to draw two rectangles. So there is one. Do you see there is this snap to create automatic? Pimpot will always try to help you 
in that sense. Actually, I'm going to just go a bit up there. Um, and it's using whatever other references there are there, there are in the design already. So in this case, the dotted line, I think, is using is being used by Penpot to be as smart as possible about that. So I have that. <clears throat> Style corners, um, yeah, we, we want sort of soft round bottles. So here, start saying 500, 500, 150, and 150. Okay, I get, I guess, you know, what's going on here, right? 100, 100 uh, sorry, 500, and then that. Um, so she's telling me to go here and specify, you know, different, so I can do that. Or, I can um, actually I'm going to just this bigger big, or I can try and make it a bit asymmetric. Uh, let me see, 350. Yeah, and here I'm going to say 80. I was I'm going to say 80 here, I think. So I'm going to make an asymmetrical bottle. So more round, more rounded here, less less so here um it's it's my style of bottle okay don't judge me okay next step oh alignment next step is alignment all right i think you would suspect i'm i'm aligning uh, i have this already aligned but i'm going to go ahead still select select and align horizontally and nothing happened because it would they were already those those two shapes were already aligned uh so nothing changed but what is really important i think is the next step union now it's time to join both shapes together because at the end of the day this is actually one object but it's still made of two shapes so select select unite so now they are one object and I, you can actually see them there union 22 rectangle 57 rectangle 44 okay all right nothing quite this final example so far colors we're going to living up our bottle okay so we're going to use the fill feature and the color picker find this in the right hand panel okay so zooming i select this right hand pane and this is the fill and color picker and i'm not going to use that pink i prefer this green okay yeah i like i prefer that green this is this is one of my favorite colors so also pink and also purple but i like green a lot uh anything other than that no i just use the color picker that's great okay level two a cap circle okay we go from rectangle to circle let's design the bottle cap draw an ellipse and place it on top at the top of the bottle okay fine that's easy again i could go to um shortcuts and say circle i don't know ellipse there. and i have an e but i can also just go and click that I'm going to do something like this, perhaps a bit more elliptical. Uh, zooming and also I'm going to already do some alignment. So like this, yeah. The snap to grid, what I find, I mean, I'm, I, my background is in, in science and development, not in design, but what I find is that this snap to grid thing, probably this is very obvious for you designers, but um, makes the alignment uh, feature not that necessary all the time okay so duh probably for you but that's what i as a, my experience is that i get that for free most of the time okay so style we're going to style it to make it cork like for this bring the following image to the canvas oh so i have the image i could just i guess copy and paste it but i think i'm going to go and say something like bubbles texture <clears throat> Oh, I like this one, like fizziness. Let's say copy image. 
copy image and here we are <laughs> okay so uh so yeah uh, telling me to uh put it like next to this um i don't think it's very important that it's there aligned what i think it's important is that i do select both and follow their you know, her instructions and do this mask thing <laughs> what do you think do you like it i think it's terrible. this is terrible but um what i can do actually is i still have the image so i could do something like as long as it fits the mask something like this i guess i don't know what do you think okay i'll leave it that I'll leave it like that so masks okay i'm now master of masks position all right so it's true like this cork up should be uh below or beneath the bottle so I'll, I'll just select the group and just move it here we have the union and we have the group so now it's it's behind it so this this was uh position okay level three ellipse another ellipse so oh, this type of there like with the cap let's begin by an ellipse to the bottle this is for the label all right so ellipse i'm going to do a huge ellipse like really big not so big yeah in this this case this is fine okay this is the ellipse now and we're going to use a very cool svg feature which is strokes strokes multiple strokes so um okay let me see if i get this correctly so first i'm going to go here well first the fill i think it's that gray is super bad so i'm i'm going to copy this cream color here that's fine but uh, for the stroke, I think I'm going to do something different. So I'm going to start with those 120 uh, and as per instructions insights. And the color is going to be, um, I thought this would be changing. Oh, okay. What happened there? So I'm going to go for, I don't know, something dark in the sense that, yeah, something like that, okay? And I'm also going to add another stroke, in this case, 60 inside. And this is going to be something like this. Very stylish, what do you think? Super stylish, not so stylish, eye-hearting, okay um all right and um so i have something like that <laughs> and then we have the text so i'm going to use the text one so i have arsenal as font huge size this is the style and then all that okay i don't think this is so much important for this example but still i'm, I'm going to to be fine with that so text big um so instead of P, P for Pablo, by the way, we're going to use M for mead. Do you like mead? Do you drink mead? We, I love mead. I drink, I drink and I make mead. I brew mead. So arsenal here. And then here, I'm going to say like 600. And like this, and then that, and then that, something like that. Again, this, this probably is going to be useful if I do this, and also if I do this over our line vertical center. Ah, since uh, we have this, okay, that's fine. I'm going to bother with that. Okay, so M there, okay. Still, I don't know, there is something odd about my design. You see this and it looks so cool. 
and you see this and it's just horrendous right <laughs> and i don't mean the, this this stuff it's just like I, I don't like it i'm not liking it but i hope there's some some magic happening position okay i already did that on top of the bottle to get ready for the final touches ah, okay so let's make sure that they are at the top so that any any other effect so they are in the top so this is fine so they are they are they won't be affected you know by anything we do to the bottle i guess to the texture uh, but before that we have this step number four which is the shadow so we're going to do this drop shadow 010 82 and then 10 percent okay so drop shadow O eight. No, I think it was O ten eight zero. Anyway, and something like that. And I, I'm ten percent. Well, actually, if, if you do the, you see that twenty percent. I hope the streaming shows you that subtle shadow effect, which is really really cool. And say ten, it just went super dim. So I'm going to keep it at twenty or actually thirty, so that you can enjoy it through the stream. Because otherwise, you will think I've, I've done nothing. And that's not true. I have done something here. OK, um, level four. Level four, blend modes and opacity. Let's give the bottle some sense of transparency. Sure, you can try this by playing with the blend modes. Have a look. Multiply and 7% transparency. So I go back to the bottle. And here, it, instead of a normal layer, I'm going to select multiply. So it's, it's doing super smart stuff with the background. You know, the pixels attributes are being manipulated in this multiply algorithm. And, but also to what extent in terms of not opacity by the effect, I guess. Oh, actually, this is the, um, the opacity. So I have multiplied, but and then also 70% opacity. And this alone is actually giving me something that starts to look like this. Um, I don't like this. Uh, it's really I'm going to do something like this. There, the snap to grid is telling me that's the center. And I'm going to leave it there. And here, just just a bit. Uh, it was annoying. Even for me, this was annoying. Uh, pen tool. Now, let's use the pen tool to create a fluid-like shape. This is the content. OK. This is, this is the advanced mode for people like me. So I go to, the, to this. So this is the fluid. So I like meat so much. I think it's going to be uh, half empty already. <laughs> Um, so, okay, so I start here and I do something like this, uh, something like this, uh, like this, I think. And just creating this Bezier stuff, trying to look super smart while I'm doing this. Like, this is a fluid like um, shape. Um, I don't think me behaves this way. I think, by the way, if you don't know about mead, uh, it's just made with honey and yeast and, and water, basically. And um, and it's wonderful. And it's the oldest alcoholic beverage actually known to humans. Um, I'm going to just perhaps do this and then just you close the loop here. I have this, all these options, but I'm fine. So. This this for me is fine. Um, I'll 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 continue with the tutorial and see if I change some stuff afterwards. So final steps. Let's give this fluid a blend mode and let's bring it to the back so it's look like it's in the in bottle. So here, say me, okay, layer, multiply, and then a fill. So I'm going to start with a fill. So fill, 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 and what color? um and did she say this is 100 percent feel i don't know i'm going to say 70 percent and the color is going to be 
something yellowish, I think. I don't know. It reminds me of uh, honey. Well, many, you know, many honeys are actually quite brown, but something like this. Okay. And um, I don't like the stroke here, so I'm going to remove it. I don't think it's in the tutorial, but I'm going to remove it. Yeah. Um, I still don't. Ah, yeah. And, and she told me to move it like something like beneath all. Okay. So now there's the multiply stuff is doing some magic too. Okay. Okay. This is, this is looking much better. Still, I think I'm going to, um, this is the path. I'm going to say 60% and yeah. Okay. Um, but I don't like the shape. <laughs> so, um, so I guess I can just do this edit. Um, I don't know if I'm going to make it worse, to be honest. Uh, just, I'm, I'm so sorry, you know, it's, this is, this is probably terrible. Uh, I don't know, something like this smoother perhaps or here. Um, yeah, I think, I think this is, this is really terrible. This is terrible. Something like this. Okay. Enough, enough murdering the, the, uh, that. <laughs> this is terrible. Okay, uh, what else? So, and voila, feel free to delete the dashed lines. Okay, so the dashed line should be this delete thing here. So, delete. Okay. So, mm -hmm. what do you think? I'm going to just do, a, yeah, this is fine. So, I'm going to take a snapshot. You don't, I don't think you're going to see this, what I'm doing. I'm just going to, do this so I keep it for for posterity okay so also I think this if I could um, something like that to go for the uh, anyway I mean this clearly is not as great as this one right but this was my challenge so this this uh, this is the end of the tutorial um, so let me just get back to you where you are where you where you here so um so that's it <laughs> this is the this is the tutorial so we have level zero which is the basics level one which is actually a, an interesting uh fun tutorial i think well we have level one two three four i think it's there where we're probably uh, figuring out what level five means as you can see we didn't design a web app or we didn't design um um you know a mobile app or a, or a book cover or we just did just graphical design right uh Penpot is 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 multi-purpose, so this is uh, this is great that you can use this to fit your purpose, um, whatever that's it. Um, we this is probably going to be super obvious and trivial for many designers that are used that are used to professional tools because it's like intuitively telling me how things will work. Those interaction and abstractions and behavioral patterns are there for Penpot, but we do hope that Pimpot welcomes other stakeholders that are not designers, developers, and other people that should have an onboarding experience, uh, an easy onboarding experience, and, and feel like at home, like it's not aggressive to them, right? So through this, through this one-click import library slash template thing, and through the uh, interactive prototype in-app uh, self-explanatory uh, tutorial, we hope that the onboarding experience for Penport will be stellar. We will continue to improve that as well as adding more features. And that is actually um, the key element that will bring us for the official announcement and the official launch of Penport with no longer having either an alpha or a beta label, right? This is for, for us, for the team, this is crucial that if we go out there and say, okay, you can, you can, you can use Penport for your professional tools you can already do that but in order for us to be very vocal about this and not be bothered about um trick you know questions about how you do stuff to be super accessible to everyone we need the onboarding to be there this onboarding 1.0 
without that, we wouldn't feel um, proud enough of our template release to just share it wildly. And we, we hope you will do that. Uh, we'll, you will be our echo um, chamber in, in, a, in a way to, to do that too. So that's it. Um, I hope all other people can enjoy this video later in the future because this is, this is still useful perhaps for a, a couple of months. Um, I don't think we have really time for questions. This was just um, the showing a bit of this sneak peek of what's coming. I hope you liked it. You enjoyed it. You enjoyed my bottle. Um, and that's it. I think I'm going to say goodbye. I'm going to say thank you very much. And I'm going to say bye bye with a red liquid that you don't know what it is, but it's super, super, super sweet and bitter. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs>